Hey guys, in this video, we'll be talking about what all preparation measures and how should you prepare each and everything in very detail for your Google interview. Hey guys, I Abhishek welcome all of you to my channel Code with Newton powered by Newton School. So guys, this is a second video in the uh, like Google interview playlist. So before we proceed with this video, I'll just give you a recap of my first video. So guys, in the previous video, I discussed about the pre-interview experience. That is, like before the interview, Google gave me some instructions how to pre, how like some calls we had, and they shared me some materials to go through it. Okay, of course, the form filling and all the process, how I got the chance to give a Google interview, each and every details I have described in the first video. If you have missed it, do check out in the comments below. So that's all. So now we'll proceed with the next section. So guys, in this section, we'll be talking about the strategy and all the implementation required to prepare for a Google interview. So guys, in this section, we will be discussing about the topics that are mainly required for the screening round, the first round and second round, sometime even for the third round, but we'll discuss about that. Okay. So what are those topics? So step number one. Okay. So you should be very much clear about your CS fundamentals. Like what do you mean by CS fundamentals? Like what do you say? I mean to say your, uh, like what do you say? Like complexity, time complexity, space complexity for a problem the like all the basic data structures their basic concept are you able to apply them same with algorithm the basic algorithms are you able to apply that algorithm like i mean to say the complete data structures and algorithm with time complexity you should have a clear idea how what are they and are you able to use them in real time step number one. but anyway what are the more important topic in google that uh, they usually the questions come from which in which all particular topics so i've recorded some of the topics based on the uh, questions that i have analyzed it like from uh, from a lot of interviews and my interviews binary search is a very uh, topic they have a lot of questions graphs in especially bfs dfs and flood fields free transversal has has tables has tables like you cannot leave it okay link click stack use two pointer approaches these all things binary heaps dynamic algorithm union ad hoc string manipulations arrays so now you say you saw you told me a lot of topics i told you a gist of topics which i have seen a lot of problems like the if you ask me like where the problems commonly occurring like in form of a topic then list maps stacks priority queues binary trees graphs sets bags etc these are some of the topics okay and other things what are the like these were more or data structure sites what are the algorithm side so greedy algorithm i've seen number of problems divide conquer dynamic algorithm very lot of problems and like you will not last a google interview without dynamic algorithm okay recursion and brute force approach recursion again very important like you will not be able to solve dynamic algorithm at all if you don't know recursion well okay and brute force of course you need to know that everyone knows that okay. the first thing that we learn okay uh, in case if you know these topic well remember it's not important just to know the topic you should know a topic so if you are given a problem okay so their main aim is if they give you a problem okay the important thing is like you should be able to visualize which data structures should i be using it and which not like if multiple data structures are possible so you should be very clear with that approach okay i'll later guide you how to be clear with such approach okay some of more important topics, less questions are there, but it's good to know. Like if you know these topics well, you can revise these topics. Like try, segment tree, fermic trees, bit mask, and all that. Okay. Like these are some of the quite advanced topics, but if you know it, it's quite well. Okay. Awesome. One more thing, like whenever we talk about complexity, O N complexity, O N square complexity, try to understand the real world application what do i mean by o and o and complexity or o and square complexity if you can relate with real world programs it's really great okay so these were some of the topics in the next section i'll explain you 
how to study these topics and where to study these topics from. Okay, so see you in the next section. So guys, now the problem is, okay, you told me the topics, these are the required topics for your Google interview, but how you should study those topics? Okay, so I'll give you three steps to follow to study, to com completely master your DSI algo for your Google interview. Step one, let's suppose you don't know data structure algorithm well or you don't know it at all. So what I'll say, step number one is to master each topic one by one. For example, let's suppose you have a learning link list, learn link list, solve some question, not very lot, lot of question, I mean to solve some question. So basically you can understand how to use link list. Go to stacks, solve some question with stacks so you can know basically how to use them. Queues and all the things in data structures and algorithm which will not take you a lot of time but yeah sometimes it may take you little time to understand few topics but yeah this will be a little quicker step one so once you have gone through all the topics that i have mentioned okay now you come to step two so now since we have the basics of all the topic done so what is the second step the second step is master those topics so how can you do it so now you can use some platforms what are the platforms of course you can my uh, follow my youtube channels where i'm going to start a fang level uh, playlist okay Number two, you can follow Geeks of Geeks, a very techy website, right? Right? Okay, used throughout the world. Number three, uh, you can follow the website. What do you say? Uh, like uh, some uh, great website like Lead Code, uh, uh, like Google Code Jam, Hacker Rank, okay, and some of the like website like Top Code and Code Force. But I'll say just follow Lead Code. Don't follow multiple websites. You can follow my YouTube channel or Geeks of Geeks and the uh, Lead Code. Lead Code is like the must must. Okay. okay. So what to do now do problem selectively. What do I mean? Link list then do the problems of link list. But usually you will find link list problem will not be alone. Of course, it will need some other concept. So now since we had the basics of all the concept, I can solve few concept problem together at the same time. But your main focus would be one particular topic. Okay, so group the topics like this. Let's suppose link list tags. So solve some questions on link list tags. Solve some questions on link list queues. So some easy level questions, some medium level questions, some hard level questions, right? Awesome. Number two, uh, like uh, this, once you have done for all the topics for your data structures or for your algorithm, then this is great. Okay. So now this will take a little time. Okay. This may take you like few months to six months ranging uh, for that period of time because data structure algorithm takes a little time. So once you have done that, that's really great. You have reached your level two. Okay. So now at this point, we guys are comfortable with data section algorithm concept. I can solve if you give me a problem, I solve this problem with linked list. I can solve it mostly. Okay. But the third is a real challenge. The challenge is if I give you a problem. Now the thing is you have to analyze which data structures or algorithms should I use. If there is a multiple possibility, why should I use this? Why I should not use that? Okay. And you should be very clear with the reason. Now this is what your interview basically tests you. Okay. Now the problem is like how to practice that topic. So what I'll say now, whichever, like, let's suppose you are practicing lead code. So of course you may not have completed all the questions in case uh, a mysterious person comes and he completes all the question, then go to some other website. For example, top coder, code force, uh, like what do you say? Geeks for geeks, uh, like Google code jam. There are multiple websites. Now select a problem. Okay. Now, since you know data structures algorithm well, you have to think which data structures and algorithms should be applied. Okay. Now, if you think for multiple solution, try to solve it multiple solution, then decide over, okay, this data structure was the best. Okay. So this problem picking is a very required skill. So pick a problem and try to guess what is the data structures and algorithm that will be applied. Okay. And if you are confused with multiple, try to solve it multiple, compare your solution, try to find out like other people would have solved it, try to see their solution and reach to a conclusion. Once you try this for a few months, you'll be very clear if you are given a problem. So basically just imagine if you are given a real time situation, so you have to analyze what should I use, then you should be very confident about that approach, right? This is why we practiced it. Okay. These are the three key strategies you should use. There are some more. But that is more towards interview side of the things, which I'll discuss you in the next video. Okay, I guess uh, that's all for this uh, video. If you have any doubts, anything, do let me know. Okay, I'll be very happy to help you. So guys, bye-bye. See you. So guys, I hope you've enjoyed my video, right? And as you know, in these kind of videos, we are able to bring such quality content because of Newton School. Newton School is a... Uh, like a platform which helps you guys to perform a great career.
okay to me it will help you to build a great career in full stack development whether you are a working professional or a fresher doesn't matter okay they have different kind of batches for everyone if you are a fresher the best thing is you don't have to pay until you guys get placed with a package of 5 lakhs or more if you are experienced depending on your previous package you guys we can sit and decide your new packages right and then finally once you get placed and that's the time to rock so they help you guys to build a great career okay so if you are interested in get, getting a great career in a tech background to check out the link that is below this video okay guys so see you in the next video wait guys where are you going so fast that's not good why because you have to do something small small thing and what are those first do like my uh, video if you really enjoyed it okay give it a thumbs up that's will be quite motivating for me okay subscribe to my channel and do turn on the bell notification like what will happen so you can get the future notifications of all my videos like i upload videos almost daily okay if you have any doubts or confusion don't forget to put a comment i'll try to answer your query as far as possible and you guys know sharing is power right sharing is knowledge as it has been rightly said so if you want both power and knowledge do share it with your friends okay and before you go you can also check out this course on launchpad uh, like on launchpad you'll get much more features like quiz and other things after every video okay okay guys so now i'll see you in the next videos bye bye